Number 40. How far from the lens must the film in a camera be if the lens has a 35 millimeter focal length and is being used to photograph a flower 75 centimeters away? Explicitly show how, eh, we're going to do it my way. So um, here's a picture. All right, here is a beautiful flower. And uh, here's the lens of a camera and the film of the camera, in which case the, you know, lens is trying to magnify, well, you know, magnify, I guess I'll say, the uh, the image onto the film. Uh, and we're trying to find this particular uh, distance, okay? They also tell us the focal length here. So the focal length, right, is a point, you know, you can do it to the left or to the right. It really doesn't make a difference. Uh, but the focal length is an inherent property of the lens itself, okay? So um, let's kind of label a couple of things. So this is the flower. This represents the actual object, right? This is the object. And there will be an image uh, of that object that is then created by the lens and going to be recorded by the film. Okay, so the image is located there. Think of the object as like the real thing, the real thing, okay? The, the thing that exists in reality. And the image is then kind of this fake thing, so to speak, all right, that is created from the real object. So uh, we now have a formula that relates these distances to one another in focal length. So, right, it's going to be this, called the lens equation, right? It says that uh, 1 over do, meaning 1 over the object distance, plus 1 over the image distance, will be equal to 1 over f. Now, if the object is to the left of the lens and the image is to the right of the lens, you're going to leave everything as positive values here. Okay, uh, You can create problems in such a way where have the object on the left, and if the image is formed on the right, well, then all the values are going to be positive. Otherwise, we're going to start to have to put some negative values in there, and you'll see, I'm sure, when we get to problems like that. All right. So here's the formula. Now, all you got to do is solve this for the image distance. That's really what they're asking. What's the distance from which this film, which is going to record the image, is from the lens? Okay, so you're going to solve this equation for di. So you're going to subtract this thing on over to the right-hand side. And then what we're going to do is we're going to now, we can basically flip this if, if you wanted, right? Um, or what you can do is simply cross-multiply. All right, you can take this now, cross-multiply it on up, and take this whole thing and bring it on down. So this is essentially now your equation, more or less. So this is just one divided then by that whole mess of stuff, okay? All right, so, and we can come up with easier, you know, we can further simplify this and if we needed to, but eh, we don't really have to in this case. So let's just start plugging everything in. So it's one divided by then, one over F, which was, uh, convert this all to meters, by the way. So the focal length there in the problem was in millimeters, so that'll be 0 0.035. And then subtract out now, the object distance in meters, 0.75. And that's going to be equal to the image distance, all right? So let's see what we get. So 1 divided by now, 0 0.035, minus then 1 divided by 0.75, and then take that value and divide it into 1. So that's going to be then 0 0.0367 meters. All right, if you need centimeters or millimeters, you know what to do. So we'll see you in the next one. All right, guys, check out some more of the problems. By the way, if you're taking camera pre-calculus, we got a lot of solved solutions out there for you as well. Even if you're not using the open text books, download them. They're free. You can find a very similar problem, if not identical problem, to the one you might be having, and we'll provide a solution for you. All right, we'll see you soon. Take care.